Solomon reporting for Katie Chats at the Inside Out Film Festival in downtown Toronto with actress Shauna McDonald. How does it feel to have your film True Love screening tomorrow night? It's, um, wow, it's kind of like coming home. I mean, it's our, uh, we, we made this film here and uh, it is going to be the women's gala presentation. So we're, we're just, first of all, we're thrilled that it's, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal, you know. Um, it couldn't be better. We we already have shown the film in England twice, and it, it got some really it got a really great response. The British people love the humor, but this is our first real screening here, so we're a little nervous. We're a little nervous. We're crossing our fingers, but you know, I think it'll be okay. And how are audiences responding to this whole story of falling in love with your friend's mother? Friend's mom. Okay, first of all, it's it's not it, what attracted me most about this story when my co-creator Kate Johnson brought it to me was that it was a uh, it was a a May December romance, but it wasn't between the typical the guy with the younger girl. It was the woman with a younger woman and not only was it a woman with another woman but it was also the younger woman's friend's mom <laughs> which is kind of you know like the milf that kind of that whole idea of the mother i'd love to <clears throat> you know well it's a woman now two women so it was kind of something i'd never seen before and sh this was a short film that she brought to me uh th over three years ago and when i read it i just went First of all, I love the characters, and I love the story, and I love the what it could be. And 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 when I, when Kate and I first started working together, I, I just said, listen, I think it really should be a feature film. And so she went away and wrote the first draft in a month, and then came back, and then we just like went at it for two years. We we wrote, co-wrote it, and um, workshopped it, and then brought amazing actors to the to the table for table reads to hear it out loud, and. Um, and then we made it through, uh, you know, the ACTRA fund, the TIP uh, uh, program, which was great. And uh, here we are. So. Speaking of TIP, what was it like working with Tasso? Oh, he's a tyrant. Tasso the tyrant. That's what his, I think that's what they call him over there. <laughs> no, he's amazing. He's amazing, honestly. He's a kitten. He's a kitten. No, uh, he was, first of all, very supportive from day one. I've done a. I can't even tell you how many uh, countless uh, tip projects. In fact, one was here at Inside Out a couple of years ago called Loving Loretta. That was a beautiful little short film by Andrea Gooch. And um, so when I went to Tasso and said, hey, I'm making my first film. And he was so excited because he thought, you know, well, that's the next logical step for you. You've you've done so much acting and, and I, I could, of course, see you writing and directing and, you know, all this stuff. So he got on board right away and, and really held our hand through the process. So I highly recommend it if anyone's out there trying to get a movie made and they just, you know, you can't get funding until you make a movie and you can't make a movie without money. So what do you do? So you have a program like this that actually allows us to use actors who are in the union who have immense experience like Kate Trotter, Christine Horn, Peter McNeil on our who are members of our cast who were fantastic who came out and worked for a lot less than what they are normally paid because of this program you know and because of the the subject matter I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and the film also really highlights Toronto as a city what made you choose to really you know make an emphasis on our city? First of all, this is where we live. Kate and I both live here, and uh, you know, lo locations were free. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it was more than that. It was really, you know, we could have said it in the summer, uh, which would have been more uh, palatable for the crew to to work in, you know, summer conditions. But it's cheaper to get crew in the winter. That's the other thing. And uh, also, there is an element of, uh, you know, it, it, it Toronto in winter really lended to our project because it it really the the films. One of the themes is about three women who are kind of frozen in their lives, and they kind of are stuck. And they, you know, when we took that ferry across from Toronto to Toronto Island the first ferry of the day breaks the ice and that's what happens. These women just get broken apart by this interaction, th this triangle that they, they're forced to confront their fears and their loneliness. And Toronto as the background for this is in winter, a really beautiful thing. Toronto Island is first of all gorgeous. And to be there in the winter when nobody else is around and you're on a beach 
and there's nobody. Literally, there was nobody around when we were shooting. I believe it. And <laughs> yeah, and it because it's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing. Nobody was around, but there's something so gorgeous about that that you're you're so close to this city, uh, but you're so far away. And there's, you know, we wanted also to show the you know, Toronto Island being the nature side of life here and Toronto the city being kind of more the cold sterile kind of place to live in and how can those two coexist can you have elements of both together and uh, it really was uh, you know there's one scene that we use in our poster which is at Sugar Beach there's a, a beach down at the at que in Queens Key um, where they have pink umbrellas that are out there all year round and these chairs that are attached to the ground somehow. I think they're cemented to the ground, whatever. And uh, we shot there in minus 40 degree weather. And it's, first of all, it's a beautiful beach. If you, ha uh, Toronto, uh, Sugar Beach, go. In the <laughs> summer, in the summer, please. But in the winter, the, nobody was there again. It was magical to just sit there and uh, the picture of uh, Alice and True from behind sitting on this beach. First of all, in, in Britain, it elicited a great laughter because they thought we were insane sitting on a beach in the freezing cold. And I said, well, but that's six months of Canada. Yeah. It's, we just had a six month winter. It's, true. it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> we, and you have to kind of show that endurance of, of a culture of a, you know, what do you do? Do you get outside or do you stay inside? Yeah. You know, get outside and sit in a lawn chair in the middle of winter. That's what I say. <laughs> And where is the best place for us to find out more information on the film? And also you just got distribution in Canada yes. as well as the States. Yeah. Uh, so where can we find out all that info online? Okay, well, first of all, it, uh, we signed with Wolf Releasing. So it's www.wolfereleasing.com -E in the States about uh, three months ago. And we just signed with Juice Distribution in Canada. So it's uh, juicedistribution.com. And you can also look on our website. It's uh, www.truelovethefilm.com. And it's T-R-U-L-O-V-E, the film. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations and have a terrific time here at the Inside Out. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to probably be wearing heels like Katie tomorrow night. <laughs> Have fun. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto.